Bigger one ate it. Got him. Okay, this is a good one. Got one of them. Okay. Oh, that's a good triple tail right there. Just got a live wall. Not really full thread fins, but a good amount of thread fins. Uh, enough for what I want to do today. I'm planning to head out off the beach a couple miles and run the crab trap, see if I can side fish some triple tail. So I got about three dozen baits on that throw. Let's go see what we can do. I've been running for a little bit. I'm about four or five miles offshore and I just found my first triple tail. Didn't look like a monster, but it'll be a first good fish. They love hanging by these crab traps during uh, stone crab season, which is right now. And there's so many crab traps out here and with the water temperature dropping, these fish are just fired up. So let me see if I can drop the troll motor in and get on this fish right quick. Definitely ain't flat out here today. I've already got a thread fin rigged on this rod. Ready to go. That's what I'm gonna be using for bait. Live thread fin. Got a 2-0 circle look on there, about three foot section of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Let's see if we can get this fish right quick. He's right behind this trap right here. So I'm gonna cast up current. He's on it. He sees it. He's diving down for it. He just ate it. Oh! He ate it and pop, took it right off the hook. All right, he's gonna swim right back to that crab trap. Right there. I'm gonna hook this one to his stomach. Yeah, it ain't flat. He's back on the trap again. Oh, he sees the bait. He's diving down to it. He ate it. Got him. Little triple tail right there. Oh, he spit it. He's looking for the bait. Is he gonna eat right next to the boat? He just ate it right next to the boat. Got him right there. That was sick. He was just looking for the bait. So I dropped it right next to the boat and he ate it. He's not a big one, probably like 15, 16 inches, but that was cool to see. I can't believe I had him hooked for a little bit, popped off and he was just like, oh, where'd it go? Sometimes these fish can be picky and sometimes they can be really dumb. This guy was really dumb. Come on over here. They fight though. They turn sideways and use that dinner plate like body to their advantage. Oh, there he goes. See you, dude. All right, I'm gonna now just run this line of traps, see if we can find any more. During stone crab season, these crab fishermen will set their lines of traps going from north to south along the beach at like a certain distance off the beach. So all I'm gonna do is now just run north and just run along this one line of traps that I found my first triple tail on of the day. And if I don't see anything after going by about 15, 20 traps, then I'll just move on to the next set. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I can find some quality fish. All right, let's get moving. All I'm doing is looking behind these crab traps, seeing if I can see them on the back side of the, the traps from the current.
There's one on that one. I couldn't really tell how big it was. It didn't look terrible. Let's get set up on them. Again, that seemed to work pretty well. It's easier to cast that way. And it's this crab trap right here. Get it over there. There we go. Yep, he's going after the bait. Going after it. He ate it. Got him. This is so much fun. Woo, good jump. Another little guy. Just being able to sight fish these guys is so much fun. Another little guy. I'm sure we'll get on some bigger ones at some point. If we keep at it. Oh, now he's pulling drag. Come on. Let me show you off a little bit and then I'll let you go. Come on. He is not giving up. That is one thing about triple tail. They do not give up. There we go. Triple tail are one fish I don't like grabbing really. They have so many things I'll poke you. But that's a uh, first triple tail of the day. Little guy, probably about 16, 17 inches. I'm gonna get the hook out of him and get the release on him. There we go, hooks out. See you, dude. There he goes. He'll go right back to that trap. All right, let's keep going. See if we can get a big one. This is also a great way to just kind of cover new water. Like the entire time I'm running, obviously I'm checking the crab traps to see if there's any triple tail on them. But when I'm in between traps, I'm looking down at the bottom to see if I'm getting it, like going over any ledges or any good rocks or anything. I found some good spots just doing this, running around with the, the traps for triple tail. All right, let's get going. Just two traps later, there's another one right there. This is a good little line so far. A lot of people go after them with shrimp and shrimp will definitely work. That's probably their favorite one. But I was able to get these thread fins today, so they still love these. They will eat these if they go in front of them. It'll be up here on the left side of the, the buoy. Yep, I see them right there. And they just hang on to these buoys as kind of like cover. And they just kind of wait and ambush anything that drifts by, which is why we're just kind of throwing these up current and letting them drip by their face. Ah, he's about the same size actually. Let's see if he'll eat. He's hanging tight onto that trap. Oh, he sees my bait out there now. He's swimming out to it. Oh, 
don't know if he ate it yet. Yep, he ate it. There he is. Got him. Another little guy. I'll just loosen up on him. He looked bigger when we were running by, but now he's about the same size. Come on over here. This is one of my favorite types of fishing to do. Just running these traps, finding these triple tail. Obviously these are all small ones so far, but I've gotten them mid twenties, like real good fight. I'm sure we'll get on at least a couple keepers today. Come on. I know I lose my drag, but geez. Here we go, little guy. I hooked him like in the chin. That's weird. See you, dude. All right, let's keep running. That was literally the second trap after that other one. There was another one just sitting on it. All right, that was the last one in that line. So I'm gonna push out a little deeper and get on a new line. Got another tri tail. He's on it. He's chasing on the surface. I think he ate it. Got him. Mike, is this a better one? Can't tell. Nah, it's about the same size. They fight though. Come on over here. Okay. And this is not light drag. My rod is bending a lot. He is fighting. It's the best fight so far today. Well, it's probably the best one today so far. Yeah. This one's probably 15, 16. A lot of these guys around this size around here right now. Haven't found any bigger ones. Such a cool looking fish. See you, dude. I was just running and I found this, I think it's like a floating piece of cardboard and clearly the biggest triple tail of the day on it. I think there's two, but there is one that I want to say definitely a keeper. So let's get set up, see if we can get on them. Yeah, it's just a piece of cardboard. These triple tail, are, there's two of them. There's one that's clearly bigger than the other one. Bigger one ate it. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, got him hooked up. Okay, this is a good one. This is, this is a keeper for sure. That was a good one. Dragged it right across his face and he picked it up. That was a sick jump at the very beginning. Yeah, he's still got some fight in him. There he is. Still got a couple more runs in them. I'm gonna get this net ready. There he goes. Let's tire him out. 
Out here, there's nothing for him to snag me on. There he is. Okay, come on. Come on. I've been going on crab traps all day, and I find a piece of cardboard in. Biggest one of the days on it. Right out of the net. He's not quite done yet. Come on. Come on. He's turned sideways and fighting me with his body right now. Here he comes. There he is. That's a good triple tail right there. Whoo! Took me all day. Right at 20 inches. That's a keeper triple tail on that floating piece of cardboard that's way over there now. There we go, a 20 inch triple tail on that piece of floating debris. I've been fishing crab traps all day. And I just happened to run into that piece of floating cardboard and had two triple tails on it. Got the biggest one on there. He's gonna go in the cooler and it's a good way to end the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.